Well, he's better talking. But Jay didn't chase. They have to make the fans them know what really are going on. What you talking about? Is Jaden Place? See me I see up to the time, you know, a cartel. I represent for Jaden Chase. We spray them face when the AK race. See me I see up to the time, you know, the Gaza station. You man, move settings, viewers, and subscribers. And we no need no ladder. Gaza Nation, we don't find the Gaza station. Welcome to the channel, a Jaden Chase. And yes, we are bringing one another new and yes, exciting reasoning for the topic of dance hall and entertainment. Mm -hmm. Remember, man, I'm here, remind you now. But click the subscribe icon, then the bell icon, and also leave a like, a comment, and yes, but a shape on the vlog in truth. Now, first and foremost, I'm going to big up the entire Canadian Gaza, especially for that one. Here. This news was brought to me by the Canadian Gaza family. Big up the whole Ontario, the whole Mississauga, the whole Toronto, even as far as BC, that is British Columbia. Now, viewers and subscribers, First and foremost, them also say this. Music is one of our biggest exports. Next to the cash crop. And tourism kind of bring visitors to the island. So we wouldn't say that are one of our biggest exports. But music are definitely one of our biggest exports. Now viewers and subscribers, as you see, Vibes Cartel Mural. You know what I mean? And one of, I think, of Mrs. Saga's biggest nightclubs. Bob and Vibes Cartel Face are the only two Jamaican murals on this specific building. Now, of course, the mural is there to interact with the people who pass, get them attention, and bring them out to visit the venue. Now, may I say this? This is why we need the dance hall icon released. First and foremost, in family, I look forward to seeing in need or he is needed do not think about that family aspect if you them a grow up of a grandson all of these individuals need the teacher not just for the music and entertainment but we'll talk about the musical and entertainment side vibes cartel if just a mere mural can be used to draw in patrons to this specific venue imagine the artist was released today even though we know say major events won't be held but this is not only an artist of just a common stature this is an artist who just the mere sight of his image provoke this thought in the brain and i say wait hold on teacher being endorsed here means a good dance and music i play at this venue and people turn out in droves thousands of them followed out me say when the club pack the club pack just by the mere facts that people know that reggae music and dancehall music will be showcased at this venue alongside hip hop and all other major forms or major genres of music. Now, I say locally, I feel like say local investors, especially people who invest in the entertainment sector and the entertainment side of dancehall music, should be people who are championing the release of Vibes Cartel. Vibes Carter is one of the only dancehall artists who dancehall on a whole continues to look for or look towards to hear new music, fresh sounds for your ears. What about that international crossover sound? Only one dancehall artist has time and time again presented that level of artistry. So we can say, yes, yeah, see there? Dancehall music should be rated and respected alongside all of the other big genres of music such as reggae hip-hop r&b and you name the rest because pop is just a, a shining for popular music so any music of a certain sound can be added to that pop category but viewers and subscribers this is definitely proof of vibes cartels me that say genuine effect on world music are the only dancehall artist that is showcased and the mural the only other person who else did it bob marley himself when there's nobody else there, other than international artists it's definitely a good look now somebody also pointed out something to me recently dexter daps dexter daps held a big 
concert. Well, I don't know if he was a promoter. He was an artist featured on the showcase alongside IKEA. And they must say, yo, the New York, the NYPD is now investigating Dexter Dax. Them say, breach of the amount of people allowed to be at a venue. And plus, there was no face covering being worn by patrons in attendance. More you know office about it. Really and truly, you know, you know the something go. Safety first, of course. But people have to go out there and earn a living, you know. They must say the same thing about spice recently. People have to go out there and earn a living. Now, all patrons in attendance, none were forced to be there. Everybody chose to show up at the venue. They chose to wear what they never what well, well they never that wear it, so then we can't ask them choose to wear it, but they chose not to wear a face covering. And that is their choice. When people fall in the venue and saw go on, you could have choose to go back home. But the people stayed, them enjoy themselves and we not hear nothing more from or about the situation other than that was a big show, a good show. Only other thing we hear is that the NYPD has said your oh boy was a breach. It should not have taken place. Even the specific nightclub we are talking about now, in which the Vibe Scarpin and Bob Marley mural are present. I don't think it is open for 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 you can't go there right now go party and all a vibe and all a joy. I think majority of venues are actually closed in the calendar right now. So you know, New York decided to say yeah, well you can have a get together, you can have a vibe. So this our go on. Even if it was a party and we are saying alright, we are invite just a specific number. Well but people are gonna turn up. Now, what you feel about the situation? Should the artist have chosen not to take that specific booking? Or you feel like say boy, I'm to earn a living, so I'm go out and do and do. It is up to the patrons to keep themselves safe and protect themselves and wear the necessary or take the necessary precautions when going out or attending any event of this magnitude, especially doing what we know take place worldwide. It is not just a situation where it takes place in a Euro community or over my community or over your friend community. It is taking place worldwide. I have to wait on. So, you know what I mean? Is this a situation where we have to just cope and adapt or follow the rules and regulations and if them say no, not to such, then they leave it alone. We don't know. Comment section open. I like to hear the views. You know what I mean? Yeah, I would like to hear the views. Talk to me in the comment section. Drop the comments. Drop the comments. You know what I mean? If I do this, run through the comments. Drop a comment back. Reply. Drop a heart. Do what we need to do. But you know this something go. You know what I mean? I think these are kind of hectic. We both need to do that video from when we receive the pictures. We go live about it too. And you know, we say I go drop a video on it. But never get to drop the video. Decide say we are going to the video now. Because we want to show on the impact of Vibes Cartel and his music his legacy, his creativity, his artistry and how it is being celebrated worldwide. But locally, people still look to or look at dancehall music and dancehall artists as if they play no cultural impact or as if their music or the music being put out by dancehall artists. Well, some dancehall artists, namely Gaza Nation, The Six, Skilly Dem, you know what I mean? There's a few other artists, especially the ladies. The ladies, them do what they do. Pick up Spice, Shensia, Jada, um, Chanel Mura, of course. You know, you name them. Definitely I put in the work. But dancehall artists and the dancehall genre is still not being celebrated or even showcased to its full potential by local stakeholders. Notice recently when them go to the market, they run them election. You know, see a dancehall music, them showcase. Them could return to reggae. Reggae already tell them to them not nah, involve themselves in that. So look, what was on display? Dancehall music. So I feel like the artistry and the art form should be celebrated a lot more than how I them are celebrated. I don't feel like they put enough respect upon dancehall name. Talk to me. I don't feel like they put enough respect upon dancehall name. And they don't put enough respect upon vibes cartel name. We already know him as the legend. We already know him as the icon. But they need to say it more. No feel so. Talk to me in the comment section, though. 
but it's the one called Jaden Chase, the dance hall correspondent, the guys are represented by the same mind in the now. If you're new to the channel, new to the movement, just a pass through, but you like the reason, of course, you like the point of view. Well, I'm suggesting to you that you click the subscribe icon and then the bell icon right after that and put it on all. This is how you now will be notified of all fresh content as soon as fresh content is uploaded and made available for you right as upon the platform. You know the something good. The like icon in between in close proximity to the share icon. Drop a like, share the video. Comment section open, just be respectful and mindful of the guidelines. But other than that, drop your thoughts, your comments and your opinions there. And until the reason again, live love and prosper.